Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the very cool S6001. This is a new phone from the very cool company that is based in San Diego, California. Um, as you can see, the phone is very large. It's a phablet. It's a 6 inch phone. And it's actually very nice. Not too heavy. Feels good to hold. Feels sturdy. It has HSPSA 4G, dual 3G, dual 2G, and it comes with Android 4.4 KitKat, and it comes with a quad-core CPU that's 1.3 GHz. You can add a memory card to it, up to 32 GB, which is a great advantage because sometimes you might need to take that card out and put another one in for various reasons. It might be easier to take pictures out of it or um, to just have different cards in there for different reasons. So that's very useful. The rear facing camera is 13 megapixels and the front facing camera is 3 megapixels. It has USB tethering, Wi-Fi, it's Wi-Fi hotspot, it has GPS, SMS, MMS, FM radio, and multiplayer, of course. Um, now, what comes in the package is, you know, you get the cell phone. It actually comes with this case attached, which if you wanted to take it off, it's very easy. Just put your nails around it and snap it off. So it's, um, and here's how it looks. It actually protects the back, gives it some more stabilization whenever you might need it. It does come with a screen protector and a screen wipe, charger, and headset. That's all good. Probably won't use them, but it's useful to have just in case. Um, let's go ahead and stick the battery in there. Go ahead and take the back cover off, and we're going to stick the SIM card in there and get this thing running. See how it works. So we'll just find the access, which is on the bottom of it. Put your nail in there pull it out. There's the battery. Take out the battery, which is just a little access right here on the bottom, and just pull it out. Now we're going to stick the SIM card in this slot right here. If you look closely, you'll see that here's the mini SD, micro SD card slot, and under it, under that board, you'll see a large space for the SIM card. And that picture right there shows how you're supposed to put it in. So we've got my SIM card here. We're going to go ahead and point it in the right direction. And this one actually is interestingly weird. It goes backwards. So we'll stick it under the space and just slide it in as far as it goes. There it is. Now we can turn the phone on. We'll go ahead and put the battery back. Put the back cover back on. And turn it on. Should have plenty of battery. Charged it up last night. Made sure it had all the way of battery. And now I'm going to let the battery drain all the way down as I use it. And then I'll let it charge all the way up and let it drain all the way down again. Do that three times and you'll have a healthy battery for the duration of you having the phone. It'll last much longer. Some people make the mistake and just, you know, start using the phone and charge it halfway, then don't charge it, then let it die and then charge it like a quarter of the way. Then they find out a week later their battery only gives a quarter of the charging time that you should have. So that's a big mistake to make when you get a cell phone. Everyone should know this by now. All right, so welcome screen says English. Welcome English. Okay. I choose English. Press play to continue. Now, do I want to choose a Wi-Fi right now? I don't have to, but I can. I'm going to skip that for now. Okay, skip anyway. Location, okay, we'll keep that on. I'm not Pacific time, I am in Florida, I'm Eastern. My phone may install updates from Google, okay. Your phone is set up and ready to use, finish. Make yourself at home, create more apps for the screen, okay. So you 
you see this phone's gonna give me a tour of how to use it. Touch and hold background to manage wallpaper, okay. And live free, live very cool. Um, I haven't seen that kind of background before, but it's interesting. It's colorful, it's fun. It's good, it's a good welcome to the phone. Now this looks like a fairly looks like a fairly stock Android version, but I did just see this very cool app. Let's see what's in there. It's basically like the Samsung App Store or something like that. You can comes with WhatsApp, Casa Tool, you know the standard things. It's an Android, same as any other Android. There might be some interesting new things in the settings though. SIM management, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on off. Of course, same thing, gesture sensing. So you can make gestures to take a picture. You can make a gesture to move photos in gallery or move songs to the music list or to go to the next page in the launcher. Smart wake, I've never seen that before. Double click to wake screen, draw up to unlock. Draw C to await camera. Let's try that, that's interesting. Turn that on, draw C to await camera. How does that work? So if, now that I have this on, if I draw C, will it await camera? Well, maybe I'm on the home screen? Or maybe it has to be off. And it goes to the camera. This is great. And now we have the camera on. This is an interestingly decent camera, now that I look at it. So it's a 13 megapixel camera. It looks like it has decent refresh rate. It's not like one of those cheap phone cameras where you open it up and you try to turn it and it delays like five seconds. This one is crisp, smooth, Seems like it's decent in low light. Actually a decent quality camera. I'm very surprised and pleased about this camera. The pictures. Of course you still have to hold it steady, but very good quality. You zoom in. In the low light, there's very low noise. This is surprising for a $200 phablet. So it's pretty good. Let's see what else we have here. And that was actually pretty neat. I'm going to demonstrate that again. It phones in sleep mode right now. And I'm going to draw C on the screen. And it goes to the camera. That's great. Um, what else can, can we find here? Now, as you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand fairly well. Um, it, would be, it will be a little hard to reach over to the top right, top left corner with my right hand, although I can make it, it is a little difficult. Oh, it even it even comes with uh, its own flashlight app, so you don't have to go to the app store and download one with all these ads. As you know, that's very annoying. This phone we are going to start selling on Amazon and in our retail store here in QS, Florida. If you'd like to pick one up, please come by our office in front of the high school or if you'd like to order on Amazon, we'll probably be the only vendors there. At the moment, you know, today is March 2015. It's a very new phone, and it's got a good future. The company is very cool. And thanks for watching.